What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, one of the homies, Cornelius, uh, he follows me on Instagram. I actually follow him as well. Uh, he usually keeps me up to date with what be going on in the wrestling world and AEW and WWE. Uh, and he usually be sending me like either clips or, you know, information that I may not have known or information that I may have known, but he thinking I don't know yet. So shout out to you, Cornelius, for sending this to me, bro. He sent me a clip. This is from some uh, fan that was at Bad Blood when the rock returned and you saw the bloodline you saw solo and jacob fatu and the tongans leave through the crowd the fans were recording them obviously while they're standing next to him and solo says something very interesting in jacob's ear and i'm gonna play it for you because uh when i say this is very interesting on how they how wwe has been using social media to advance storylines i definitely like this and it could mean some crazy implications of what this you know what the you know the new bloodlines true objective has been the entire time and their involvement with the rock so i'm gonna play this clip for y'all and we're gonna give this a, a quick little listen i don't even have my headphones on all right, let's give this a quick little listen. Solo said part of the plan. What a night for real. Great night. Play one more time. He said it was part of the plan. What a night for real. And he said it was part of the plan. That has some serious implications. Solo telling Jacob this is part of the plan is very interesting and very telling. Mainly because, and I've said this, once Solo became this new tribal chief, if you guys remember earlier this year, it didn't seem like this was just a Solo-driven idea. I don't think this was just a plan that Solo came up with. I think he got the okay from someone. If you guys remember, he was talking to Paul Heyman and he told Paul Heyman, he got approved to do certain things. And it wasn't by Roman. It was by somebody else. And it wasn't Paul. And the implications was that this was on The Rock's orders after WrestleMania. And remember what The Rock said. Your story with Roman Reigns is over. But me, me, you and, you and I, our story has just begun. Talking about The Rock. And he said it. I pinned you at WrestleMania. Roman didn't. This is very telling, and I like how they did this. I like how I did how they did this. Once again, this is a callback to what Solo was talking about from the jump. There was somebody above him, and it makes sense. It doesn't seem like this was an only Solo play. How else was he able to get the Tongans in WWE and Jacob Fatu? They didn't come through Paul Heyman. This seemed like this came from over top and by the story here, it would have to be the final boss to give that type of approval. This is why I say there's a bigger play here because they they filmed it in a way where it looked like they didn't know what was going on. So they scurried out of there when they saw the rock. But WWE is doing a such, a such a great job with social media presence that what they did and what they've been doing and they did it. Uh, twice, essentially, they told their talent to go to certain places where they know fans are going to film. They know fans are going to film what happens, have no real context to it, and then post it. Just like with the Kevin Owens attacking Cody Rhodes in front of his tour bus, fans were filming it. They're just looking at it like, oh, you know, Kevin Owens and, and, and Cody Rhodes have a conversation, then Kevin Owens attacks him. Now it turns into a storyline that was recorded. Same thing here. Fans see uh, Jacob 
and 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 Solo and the Tongans in the in the crowd area, of course they're gonna pull out their phones. I would pull out my phone and you know start talking trash, whatever. But they they told them to continue to keep the story going by saying it loud enough where people who's right next to you recording would hear, hey, this is part of the plan, and then just keep on going with the act. And then they know WWE knows some fan is gonna post it and repost it, and then it circulates. Now the story gets out online. Now people are like, damn, what what, what did he mean by that? People start speculating. People start talking, like me, content creators. This is how you incorporate in the internet into storylines to keep things kayfabe. Even though, you know, kayfabe is much harder to do, you can still incorporate some of these internet aspects WWE doesn't have to record everything. It doesn't have to be, why is this camera there conspicuously in this spot? No, just have the fans do it actively, organically, and it worked. It worked. This is how you do that. That's, man, they're cooking, bro. Which leads me to believe, and I, I stand on that, that it may be a situation where maybe the entire time The, the Rock was behind this. Maybe he was behind all of this trying to see if they can get the gold back to the to the tribal to to the family to, to you know to solo to the bloodline. I think that's what it was. Rock wanted solo to be the next guy up and he wanted him to bring the gold back, but he couldn't and he hasn't been able to. And now with the help of Roman, it makes sense why. The Rock said on his Instagram live after his surprise return that he hasn't been liking what he's been seeing these past few months because he didn't like Roman teaming up and helping Cody multiple times to keep the championship away from the bloodline. It makes sense. That's that makes perfect sense why The Rock would be would feel some type of way. He put the trust into Solo to get maybe bring the, the championship back. Now you can say, well, that would make sense because why would he want Solo to do that if that's the case, if he wants to get the championship? If he wants to beat, beat Cody? You got to remember, he also said, if you are the champion, then when I come back, we're going to have our, we're going to run off eight. We're going to have our one-on-one. That's if. And if you want to really look into it, I'm pretty sure if you're going to send some people after him, you would send the bloodline because you want your family and your lineage to be at the top. Because remember, The Rock was supposed to face Roman at, uh, this year's WrestleMania. So who's to say if part of his grand plan was to have Solo win the championship and then he faces Solo for the title to keep it within the family? Point I'm trying to make here is I love what WWE is doing, incorporating social media and fans' excitement into storylines. They don't even have to record it. They could just have fans record it themselves and post it on social media and get everybody talking. This is great. I love this. They did it with Kevin Owens and uh and uh Cody Rhodes, and they're doing it here. This is very, very good. I like what they're doing here, man. So comment down below. Let me know. What do you think is going on here? Do you guys think The Rock has been behind this the entire time? What do you think Solo meant by it's part of the plan? Y'all let me know down below, but I appreciate our love and support. Road 2, 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.